Oh, Charlie Christchurch. Christ Stewart. I mean, the sort of privilege of people we've had. I mean, I'm sure a lot of those names will come through as we... At a weekend, we chose to celebrate my father's 70th birthday and during that... Build that out of a kit. You don't go to Ikea for that. You have to build phenomenal foundations if you want to produce those palaces or those gems of architecture which last for decades. Number six, and probably one of the, I mean, this would, I mean, it, maybe people who wish to watch this might think, surely this should be number one. But it is the 2012, and it's, it is the most recent Grand Prix, it's the 2012 Spanish Grand Prix, that superb victory by Pastor Maldonado in this, uh, at Barcelona. I mean, it's a story that's so recent and it's sort of been just talked about still in some corners in total disbelief. It's been sort of covered and covered and covered. We don't really need to go through too much for here, just sort of the roller coaster of emotions, what with it being uh, a weekend we chose to celebrate my father's 70th birthday and during that everyone in the paddock invited party on the Saturday afternoon. That was when the news came through, you've inherited the pole position which was key to the race victory. I think had Lewis had been on the front row it would have been a, perhaps a different Sunday afternoon. And then of course we got into the Sunday and Pastor's drive was just absolutely superb. And then we had sort of the difficulty of the fire an hour or two after the race and all of the emotions that went with that. And, and then probably even though she did attempt to attend the British Grand Prix but could come nowhere near to being there in the capacity that she wanted to, we as a family look at that 2012 Spanish Grand Prix as the last race that my mother fully attended there every day in the pit, shoulder to shoulder with dad, watching the race at his monitors as her last race and it almost makes you believe in things upstairs when sort of those moments sort of come to you and I think I put this on my Instagram a few weeks ago sort of on the anniversary May the 13th I think of that date and it's very difficult in the on the heritage side of Williams in recent years given the great sort of complexity and tempo of development we have in Formula One and of course we have to remember Barcelona being a relatively early season race it was the fifth race of 2012 in question but it's complicated at the end of the year for us to receive those cars in anything other than their end of season specification because the pace of development and therefore the conversion and the consumption of components is so great that that's what it is that's we don't look we know the best race the car that you want to have in the museum, the one with the best history, might be from the third race or the sixth race or the fifth race in this question, but this is what you have. But, on, but for FW34, chassis number two, passed as race car from that afternoon, I said, guys, I'm not letting it out of your factory, which means it's going to be getting in the way of your 2013 project until it's in complete Barcelona spec. And it was led by a great Williams guy called Tim Newton. Tim was running a lot of factory things then, and Tim was like, see your point we need to do it and it sits to our it sits to this day in our museum in in exact Barcelona specification mechanical and aero spec so uh, again it's just so people might say that should be a top three a podium for this list but uh, I but, but but for me it will always be a very very special race but uh, yeah <laughs> the one thing that I would like to add to that race is that Look at who he beat. Look at the pressure he was under in the... I mean, we're talking about Alonso at home at the peak of his fame and power and strength and energy. He's got this guy in his mirrors and he still wins the Spanish Grand Prix. It was, it was just superb. And I hope that people can perhaps maybe... I would like to see people when they sort of retrospectively view Pastor's career because sadly that's look, that looks like how we're viewing it because I think his career did come to an end too soon in terms of Formula One racing and just one of the sweetest human beings you could ever want to have as a racing driver. I mean, I, I'm I just so fond of the guy and he was just superb. I mean, and, and I don't think, but, and I think he's misunderstood. I think this whole crash magnet thing, when you actually assess it through data, some of it, yes, but actually there's an awful lot in there where simply it was just misunderstood. And I think you really have to, I mean, the, the, I mean, it's racing, this kind of stuff happens and he wasn't always to blame. But I think if you look at that Spanish Grand Prix, I mean, it was just one of the, I mean, it's just, 
it's just a great drive. It is a yeah. Drive. It all it all came together. And, and and Jack Brabham always used to say that yeah, he won the '66 French Grand Prix, the first driver ever to win in a car of their own manufacture with his own name on the nose. But yes. he said the nicest thing about that French Grand Prix in '66 was beating Ferrari. And I think that's also a point that needs to be made about that about that Spanish Grand Prix. It's a big thing. It it is a big thing. I mean. I mean, I think you make the comment in being one of the commentators on Ferrari Race to Immortality, which is just such a phenomenal work of motor racing cinema, that Ferrari is sort of, it's, it is bigger than the sport. And I think all of us, even though all things need to be equal in terms of for the benefit of competition, I think all of us know that really, that Everyone says that you're trying to beat the person who is currently winning everything, which is, of course, Mercedes, but there is something about going up against Ferrari. I mean, there is just something about being a competitor, a competitor of Ferrari and beating Ferrari. I mean, you just have to respect what Ferrari is as a racing team and the history and why they are there. And it's just a phenomenal thing to actually race against and when you beat it. And it is just, which I'm something we're going to come to later in this list, not to give too much away.